Hello everybody. Um, this is kind of a weird messed up episode here because I wasn't really planning on this. Um, I just made it back into Florida from uh, Kentucky and was over at the beach and didn't have any money for gas. As you can see I'm running pretty low. I don't have any money at all unless it's got to last me um, two weeks. Um, well I was planning on staying beachside because I had access to everything but then this little fella showed up. Um, he was a uh, loose dog a stray dog at the beach side and I tried to find his owner and nobody was his and he doesn't have a tag or anything on him although somebody did find a tag but I don't we don't know if it was his or not although I put it on him um, there were, you know it's at the, the dog park so um, I tried calling the animal shelter and nobody's answering the phone or anything and I've tried to get people to take him and no one will take him so I couldn't just leave him there because he's gonna get run over um, when I got him, he had already almost gotten hit several times. And, um, so nobody will take him, and I couldn't put him anywhere, so that leaves him with me. And I can't really keep him in the, uh, van. I'm not set up for that. And, um, so at this point, I drove all the way up to, uh, Palm Bay, and I'm gonna head out to the compound to check on the hut and see if I can put the dog at the hut for now until I can figure out what to do with him. Maybe tomorrow morning um, I can try to call the um, shelter again. Although I'm a little concerned about putting him in the shelter. And the other interesting thing about him is he looks exactly like my dog. Um, I had a dog that looked just like him that was named Tanner, except it was bigger. This is like a miniature version, like a mini Tanner. And um, he looks just like Tanner. So, um, I'm thinking of contacting the, um, the pound tomorrow, but I'm debating because I might just try to keep them, but, um, I'm not sure how that's going to work because I wasn't really planning on having a pet and it complicates things when you have a dog or a cat and you're in a vehicle, you can't really just leave it. So at this point, I'm just trying to, um, keep them safe for the night. So he and I are going to go out to the compound to check out the hut to see how it fared um, with uh, Matthew, Hurricane Matthew, it was category four when it was off the coast here. Um, and it hit here and made landfall, I think up a little bit higher up though, a little bit more north. So um, we're heading out to the, the compound in the hut even though I wasn't planning on it. And the reason we're going there is um, I just need a place where I can um, think and let him roam free and um, cook some food. I need to eat and I'm gonna make food for him too. I don't even have money to buy dog food for him so he's gonna have to eat rice and um, whatever I cook up with the rice. Um, and you know then tonight we're gonna both sleep in the van because there's like mosquitoes like crazy out there. So that's what the plan is and um, just wish me luck. 